Thank you, Deputy President. I mean, we just saw on Saturday a very substantial vote across all six states. Australians come out and say no. And one of the reasons they came out and said no was during the course of this debate, it has been dripping with sanctimony, it has been dripping with a sense of superiority, it has been absolutely condescending to Australians as they have been insulted. And I mean, we hear, just heard then a contribution from someone supporting the Yes campaign opposite and their volunteers called some names. I mean, honestly, it is, it's like they look in a mirror and they try and deflect because I can tell you what I, a sporting hero who goes out there, an Indigenous former sporting hero who's been very vocal on his support for the Yes campaign, uh, walked past one of our elderly women who actually happens to be Jewish as well and caused her the most, called her the most vile racist names as she was working on a pre-poll booth in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. It is absolutely appalling the abuse that's been seen in this country, but I can tell you the abuse has come from one side and one side only, and that was the side of the Yes campaign. And we know why. We know why that 39 per cent of Australians said yes and 61 per cent of Australians said absolutely not. I will not be spoken to that way. I will not be treated that way. I am a smart Australian who knows that we are better together than divided by race. I am a smart Australian who wants our country to be a better place for all Australians, not just provide a select voice for some. And we are not racist, those who voted no. And I look forward to you going out as I hear interjections for the Greens and explaining to those 61 per cent of Australians who voted no that you still think they're a racist for voting that way. Go on and tell them. I mean, we know that you know that's about your modus operandi, but we'll see over here with the abuse that continued from the Yes campaign and continues because these people are so tone deaf. Even today they're out there still trying to undermine and abuse those that were on the no side of this debate. I've been on this no side of this debate for months and months and months and I'm incredibly proud of what New South Wales has achieved and the result that we've seen in New South Wales. And I'd just like to note, New South Wales is currently sitting at a higher no vote than Tasmania. But the Yes campaign didn't really want to spend too much time in New South Wales. It was all about Tasmania and South Australia because they were the swing seats. Victoria and New South Wales were in the back. Guess what? New South Wales has actually voted more heavily to the no campaign than Tasmania. So sorry for that, Senator Dunningham, but those in New South Wales really did engage. They really wanted to say that, no, we are all Australians and we are better together. And the more condescension and abuse that comes from you lot, I mean, almost bring it on, because every day Australians know you are absolutely full of it and full of your own self-importance and sanctimony. And until you get out there and actually speak, I mean, we've heard nothing but smears from Senator Stirl, personal smears Thank you, and Senator attacks. Hughes. I'll put what the question.